I do not want to become corrupted. That's the last thing I want, but I know it's coming for for me. It's coming for all of us. It's just like a matter of like who can hold out the longest. We have no choice. Four. Why do we? Why is it so fun to have four rising stars on the same the same as Zoom? (laughs) Welcome to Joy Tactics, the podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. Uh oh. Whoopsie Daisy. We're back with a uh, musician. Uh oh. It's Will from Hotline TNT. Give it up for Will, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having Will, me. Will, 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 Will. Dude, d- do you know that you're our first Zoom interview? Everybody else has been. Oh, that's right. In wow. person, so we're you're basically a guinea pig right now. How does that feel? Well, it's actually funny you say that because um, my publicist, who is helping get get me arranged with you guys, I told him I was like, I'm actually going to be in New York. I wasn't planning on it. He's like, they only do it on Zoom. They only do it on Zoom. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. We'll do it on Zoom. So. Well, we've actually never met in person. All three of us, the Jack and Eric and <laughs> yeah. Nate, we just know each other yeah, through Zoom. We just know We're each just kind of online, online friends. Gotcha. We saw a Craigslist ad. Nate was putting together a podcast. And <laughs> Eric just get light, got laid off. You know how it goes. Uh, yeah, I yeah, feel like a lot of too. bands are put together that way, right? With just like need a bassist on, you know, on, on Craigslist. Why can't uh, you know comedy troops and podcasts right. be like that? You know. It's I true. need Cat Williams to put out a Craigslist post right now for an opening. <laughs> yeah, for a rock and roll. You know that's opening. how he got started. He was a he. He was like, well, not really, but he 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 was a part of a contest. Yeah, like it was like a comedy contest, and he, I think, won it. It was it was like a blue collar comedy. Uh, Person, oh, he I came think. up with Larry, the, the cable guy, I think, yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just about to ask about Larry's origin story, because I don't know. Do, do you rock of, with oh, the Blue we'll co- Collar Comedy Tour, Will? Oh, most definitely. Uh, <laughs> is Jeff, great. Jeff, who's it? Jeff um, Foxworthy. Dunham? Foxworthy. Oh, Foxworthy. Yeah. Foxworthy. That was Dunham's my guy. Mr. Puppets. Okay. Yeah, a lot of time on Comedy Central as a kid, um, watching those those crazy guys back in the day. Those crazy fools. Those fools. So, Will, we have some, I mean, Joy Tactics, we have an interesting relationship with music, and I feel like the questions that we're going to give you today are going to, people are going to see a side of you that you may not, not have even seen. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. Like, we're going to go deep in there. If you're comfortable with it, if you want us to, like, softball, we could ask you, like, where are your inspirations? But like, No softballs. I'm, I'm sick of that. It's every interview is the same questions. <laughs> Let's fucking like, go, man. That's why we You're going to break you. you down. You are going to be in fucking tears. You are going to be wanting to leave this interview and never yeah. talk yeah. to us again. You're going to be pissed you know by that. the end, brother. I hope you realize that, Will. I'm I hope ready. you realize that. Yeah. Just for the Dears. audience, let, let's clear it up. Will is from this band called Hotline TNT that's absolutely popping right now. Which album is this from Hotline TNT? Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, uh, big R S P influence. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. By the way, what video game am I listening to? There's some, there's, I'm, I'm hearing like a video game play. What Do the you guys fuck? hear this? I don't hear it, dude. I'm not getting that. <laughs> what is going on? Are you watching that. a playthrough on YouTube right now in the background? <laughs> I might. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> awesome games done quick. Uh, or Nate was just that. watching some fucking Bomberman <laughs> porn on the. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm disrespecting. No, I had gone to your Twitch channel and oh. it was just automatically playing, and I was like, "Oh, is there like some?" I literally thought you were just like had a game going on in the background of <laughs> nah, on your computer. I, do, I got, <laughs> was recording. I have the dual it. monitors, so it is possible I could do that. But uh, wow. I, I want to respect the podcast. I wouldn't do that. Appreciate that. Yeah. So um, let's fucking Will, jump dude, right I was into listening it, to some of your catalog today, and what I didn't realize was your old band Weed. I I didn't realize I listened to you all in like 2013. No way. I oh really did. Oh my god. I was <laughs> listening to that song Heal today. I was just like going through, and I was like, oh my god, I was blasting this at the gym, no yeah. question. Well, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, people think we're a new band. I've been at this for a while. I've been working You've been on this at for, it a while, for a while. But people think it's a new project. It's not. That's what I'm saying. You know? Well, they, that's what I was going to say. It's a marathon, see. not a sprint. I say this exactly. every podcast, don't I? It's a oh. marathon, not a sprint. And hey, now the you world is coming. That? To... You want me to huh? upgrade that that sentence for you? Please. Marathon. Wait. A mar... Life is a marathon. Sprint is a phone network. <laughs> oh, say that to dude. your niece. Oh, say that to your nephew. Oh. Yeah. Are you used to people being that quick with it, Will? 
Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I thought I was the quickest one, but I'm. Mm. Uh, um, have you guys listened to Weed before, Nate and Jack? This is I Will's. I smoked it. Oh, uh, go on. listen to that I song, got, Heal. I got a clip for that one. Hold on. Please. Smoke weed every day. We, oh, we got Will Anderson from oh, Hotline shit. TNT. That's, <laughs> man, the, the instinct is crazy when I hear that sound. <laughs> um, wait, Will, okay, I do want to ask you this because, okay, so you've been at it for fucking uh, a long time making good-ass music. You've got loyal fans. I feel like we're kind of similar in this way, Will. Joy Tactics, all three of us, we're basically local legends. People know we're about to hit it, but we haven't hit the big time yet. Um, but you kind of... You kind of just did. You got well, third trying. man records you guys, signed to you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's been kind of like a foot race with uh, the tactics and Hotline. Kind of like right. I'm trying to beat you guys to the prize. I want right. you there at the same time, like kind of simultaneous. But I remember like when we had our first meeting about the video. Yes. And you <laughs> said, you were like, can you feel it? Like something's coming. And it, something's and coming for you. I didn't feel it yet. <laughs> yeah. You felt it before I did. I I'd have that kind of magic. Yeah. Like the woman from The Matrix. Yeah. Oh, the Oracle? <laughs> Catwoman? Oh. oh, the Oracle. The, yeah. the Oracle, dude. Yeah. Dude, they no, you're, the, you, like you're more of the, the You're more of the not like this uh, lady. Not like major. this. <laughs> switch. Switch. Not like this. Switch. Matrix heads. <laughs> Poor dude, fucking gotta, switch. How do I not have any Matrix drops in here? That's like a, that's that's a, that's a problem, an oversight. Man. That's an oversight. <sighs> when sure. Mouse got killed by Mr. Smith, it broke me. Remember yeah. that? <laughs> I do. Oh, my yeah. fucking God. All those Mr. Smiths. Um, um, that, when that second album, or second album, second record, The Matrix mm. Two came out, the yeah, second record, <laughs> uh, reloaded, yeah, that was like okay. I thought I was like that's as good as Tech is ever gonna get, like seeing all the Smiths come out like that. Oh like, my yeah. goodness, that was know. Well, they can't, they don't, yeah. And they remember, the, really remember that system. song from Matrix? I think it was Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, even though the song is called Revolution. But there's a band called P.O.D. Payable on Death. Do you, of course. Do you remember this band, Will? This is my first concert, actually. Are you uh, kidding me? Well, I, I, I've told people my favorite concert is first concert is a few things. This is I went to a lot of Christian music festivals first. Me too, brother. And P.O.D. is oh. a Christian band. So yes. technically, <laughs> that was like the first show I saw, P.O.D. You know What's that song, Revolution? One? What's their what? So, did somebody say a revolution, or is it all in my head? Is that that's in Reloaded? <laughs> that's in Reloaded or Revolutions. It's what they okay. blast when they're in. Well, what's it called? Zion. We're, we don't got to yeah. get into why it's let's, called Zion, but yeah, well, we're yeah. gonna see a clear that one. <laughs> By but, the way, uh, Eric, why is it called that? Will Will doesn't want you in Hotline TNT. So if you're like singing and trying to audition, <laughs> yeah. it's just it's the band's already formed. Like. He's well, a singer. He doesn't need like any backup. Let him speak people. for himself, dude. Don't put words in his mouth. <laughs> um, let him fucking speak for himself. <laughs> no, but POD is, is important to me in a lot of ways because uh, there's another podcast I listen to called uh, Roach Coach. You ever heard of that what one? Is, what is that about? I it's don't like, know that one. It's like a new metal podcast and they go okay. through like classic new metal albums and talk about it. But the what's that album called? It's a 2001 album by POD. Uh -huh. And satellite satellite yeah and that album was released on september september 11th, 11th 2001 oh, get out of town my and that wow. is the official oh, satellite satellite the official end of the classic new metal era that's it really anything that was before wow. that yeah your biscuits your corns that's all considered canon classic new metal wow, wow. satellite ends so, that era post 9 11 what's yeah. that era well, then there was, it was pretty much quiet until TNT. It was yeah. quiet until TNT. So y'all yeah. are basically <laughs> revitalizing, like, I don't know. If it's, Dude, because when it was all going on in Afghanistan, everybody was, yeah. like, so yeah. preoccupied with that. Yeah. I know you were over there in and out, not necessarily for military reasons, yeah. but it is interesting. Yeah. It was, yeah, no, it was, it was a drought. It, it was a drought. Because everybody's still, in terms of new metal... I'm definitely still rocking with all the stuff that I was rocking with from back then, but I didn't realize how deep it went. No, it's it's really deep, and uh, you should. I don't. I don't want to give those guys too much free clout, but Roach Coach has a couple of good episodes in there, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna check worth, Roach, Roach Coach out. Roach yeah. Coach. Will, did you ever listen to a band called Skillet? Hell yeah, dude! I love yeah. Skillet, man. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I I'm saw Skillet either. live at Wild Waves at the Christian Rock, and uh. they were playing with Grits. I don't remember grits. I got. I'm not that, kidding. I got saved at a skillet show. Like they like had everyone raise their hands and like go out in the oh, hallway. There's dude. these ministers out there. What, what yeah. were you going through that you needed saving? 
Nothing, nothing at all, dude. I was, I was wow. totally well, they make fine. You feel yeah. like yeah. you need it badly. But there could Skillet be more. Is crazy. What's that yeah. one song? Re, am I thinking of the right band? Rebirth now. I wanna live my life. I can't remember. Are you I don't know me? that one. I don't no, know, you know this one. Are you I kidding remember, me? I loved them, but I don't remember any songs at this point. Dang. What if Hotline TNT became uh, every? You had like just a live stream where everybody went into a Joel Olstein style church and everybody got fucking hands laid on them, saved, saved. and you became a fu- You did the reverse Katy Perry. Where you guys become a fucking bro. rockin' Christian. Uh, well, I guess Kanye did that, but. I'm wide awake. Katie's <laughs> Perry. Are those samples like. Are they super loud for you, by the way? I don't want to overpower. No, it's perfect. No, just right. It I want it's them right in the, in the pocket so you can kind of hear them, but I don't mean to overpower. Fuck with you guys would become rich beyond your wildest dreams if you went evangelical. Tours of Africa. Oh, you might playing as well. massive million dude, crowd it's already i had a meeting with the agents it's already in talks, dude. Already <laughs> talks so. were you, you on pitchfork refreshing the page at midnight to see if best new music hit yeah, I, I really didn't think it was gonna happen um we were in london when yeah. uh, the review hit and i knew i had heard the review was gonna come out on release day yeah which is that's like a good sign i guess i was told yeah. that's a good sign mm-hmm. i was like all right and it's a friday oh so you know it's gonna be sitting there all weekend mm-hmm. yes sir. and i was like all right this is looking kind of good but i'm not gonna count my chickens you know yeah they gave us a little feature like a couple weeks before and i was mm-hmm. like that's also a good sign definitely but i bet you they'll give us like 8.0 no best new music you know because i do that from now sometimes. on no i thought that was oh, oh this gotcha Sometimes they'll give you a good wow. score, but no stamp. Yeah. Because sometimes and they just give that all black 8.0. It's exactly. not best new music, but it's that's, fucking quality. That's, that was like my expectation no, no, at no. the top. You got BN. And then, has, yeah, go ahead. Do you feel like that has like kind of changed some things with the best new? Because I remember when I was in high school, if something got like best new music, it was like uh, that yeah. band was like skyrocketed into like they're, they're fucking going to be at every festival this year like that was how i found music but i feel like now there's not that it's like like lesser or anything like that i just feel like there's so many new ways to find music that like yeah. it's uh i don't know is that is like getting best music at pitchfork still like a a like huge boost to a band or, or disrespectful kind of question Nate, like. <laughs> i'm just curious i'm <laughs> nah, we're, you said we're, we're not doing yeah. the soft questions no softballs, here no right? i'm not right, right, bring, right, right bring them out well um, but hotline tnt is also being pumped into the spotify algorithm heavily it's on if you look at we're the in a new playlist, we're just in a new era is Sony what i'm saying no like i think it is a big deal i mean as you said it's you know pitchfork isn't quite the cultural like what is it, Mount Rushmore that it used to be yeah, alongside, right. you know, MTV. Well, not even. I don't know. Whatever the new Rolling Stone is, I, I think right. they've. They're not quite as epic as they used to be because people find out about. We'll shit be through. very fucking careful right now. A man there is a fucking robber behind you. Act like you're podcasting, but then oh, when they come up God. on behind yeah. you, fucking take them out. Check for weapons now. You can take a shot. Watch, watch. He's gonna dismantle. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks. Um, that's well, um, one of my guitar players. He's he's just oh, so it's shit. another rocker. I think he went to the gym by TVI actually. Did you? Oh, oh he yeah. goes to Evolve. What? I went to Planet Fitness and like ground something. Planet Fitness, he says. Ah, oh, he's yeah, got to start hitting Evolve and Ridgewood. Um, that's honestly, dude, it's not bad. a good time to interrupt. I'm in the middle of something, so keep your guitar up. Yeah, I'm going cool. as fast as I can, buddy. All right, cool. <laughs> he's smoked. <laughs> um, I sense some tension, dude. I, saw, I don't want to be a part of any tension. Bad. Um, <laughs> uh, Pitchfork is is still a big deal, and it was it was a big deal when it uh, something disconnected. I'm getting some notifications. Pitchfork's oh, still a big deal. I think people find out about music through like TikTok and Spotify and shit now. So it's like yeah. there's a lot more ways to blow up. So Whereas, who are the who are some of the sad fucking pieces of shit that you that are like looking at Hotline T? And T going like motherfuckers, they got this shit. Is it like Jason Derulo? Be it like, is he fucking rocking in his yeah, area like, with hate a picture from of other you? musicians? Dude, the hate was already there before the review dropped, but really? that's only you weirdly amplified. need the hate to get, to get to that point though. Like, I, you can't I wouldn't get to be here without hate. I wouldn't be here yeah. without the hate. Um, yeah, no, yeah. And it does fuel me for sure. Um, 
<laughs> I could tell. So, I yeah, could yeah. First time I met you, I'm like, this dude's like Anakin Skywalker, full of fucking hate, but a lot of potential. Literally. No, it's like, uh, I mean, now that the 8.4 is out, it's just like, none of you guys can ever say shit to me ever again. I know, dude. I was fucking Terrible. bullying you before this. I'm like, not a bully, but to you, I was macking you around, totally. all around Ridgewood. Totally. Yeah. It's true. It, th- um, that, this, your show in, in um, at TVI was so fucking fun. That was like a blast. That was uh, that was one of the best nights of my life. Uh, yeah, only to be eclipsed a few days later by the eight point four. But uh, wow, yeah. oh shit! I feel like That's rock. Is, why? Why do we think rock is back right now? Because I'm feeling like rock and indie rock is making a fucking comeback. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you know who started it. You know, Durst got it started back in the day. But yeah, Fred. He had, like I said, there was a drought, and now who picked up the mantle? Now we're back in heaven. Hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I want to see? Uh, I feel like we need a revival of, you know that band, The Decemberists? Yeah. Oh, Do you oh, think you want we could that. have, <laughs> I want some like 1800 style, you know, lyrics and <laughs> I want to see some, some, I want to see a whole generation of people just take that, take up that mantle, you know? They, I've seen your steampunk drawings where you're getting fucking <laughs> sucked on by all the steampunk <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little sea monkeys. <laughs> oh, who was that? Wait a minute. What was, was that? That was, that was Chris. Oh, Mr. Chris why from Family Guy. Balls? Yeah, that's what that is. I was like, why is that so familiar? We got to yeah. put some respect on Seth Green, dude. Yeah, Seth I've, Green. I've been a fan the yesterday. whole time. Never, never got a paddle. I never uh, fell off on the FG. I was always yeah. loyal. Is it still rocking? It's still on. Season twenty-two just. Uh, premiered this fall, My so God. we're about five Season episodes 22. in. Good Are God. you watching on TV? You're tuning in. I have live. YouTube TV. I watch. I mean, if I'm on the road, it's hard. But yeah. I like pretty much don't schedule on Sunday nights. Like we're not playing a show because I'm. That's sacred. Yeah, that's right. my church. You know? Will, what are you Mary. fucking eating on the road, dude? What are the road snacks? Um, well, in the UK, not so good. You uh, you you went. I don't want to out you, but you were going into the UK tour saying i'm not i'm not usually rocking with the uk that hard yeah i was i was worried we we're gonna get into this no softballs but uh <laughs> you know there's a lot of people over there i love you know, melanie yeah. camille like linus yeah. you guys i love you i'm not rocking with the uk right now Snap. I'm what is and it what about is it because yeah, i'm a anglophile really it's <laughs> what are you talking about what is it they're eating sludgy pudding uh, uh, be- beans it's and disgusting. fucking peas <laughs> it's so fucking gross it's disgusting sludgy it give me my sludgy bucket, bucket of blood yeah, yeah bucket baby. of blood yeah. oh snap I mean they've, they've got some good cultural exports I'm not gonna lie but yeah the bathrooms I don't care how fancy the restaurant is like I've never seen a nice bathroom in the United Kingdom I have one for you okay I'm not kidding I don't know. I'm going to have to share a screen for a second, but this is a You bathroom. have a bathroom recommendation? <laughs> I'm serious. A bathroom in the UK was sent to me. A picture of a bathroom in the no. UK was sent to me this fucking morning. And I I'm going like to blow your mind. Oh, I, yeah, oh, I do think, like, I, I'm kind of George Costanzian in the way that, like, I, I need to be comfortable oh, when I'm going to the bathroom. Costanzian. Well, you want that well, warm toilet. Who so doesn't? You, wanna, yeah. you, you like comfort or do you like the future? <laughs> Let's Boom, imagine got. taking a piss oh, in this. Okay, that's... That oh, looks a UK my. bathroom. Basically, if you're just listening, it looks... I don't know quite how to describe this. Uh, like the tunnel from Willy Wonka. And then is the ceilings. And then... But there's little kind of Mentos... Pink little Mentos bubbles. Oh, hell no. Nah. Charming. These so look you're like the pods... Me? The pods from the Illithid ship on Baldur's Gate where you get... Who's playing Baldur's Gate right now? Dude, what, what is Baldur's Gate? I've heard it. I don't know what it is. It's a new video game that's rocking the planet. Okay, I'm working on Super <laughs> Mario Bros. Wonder right now. Oh um, shit! Oh yeah, you play the classic games. Yeah, I like playful shit, man. It's, I'm not too. Serious. You love playful, playful shit. Keep it playful, yeah. man. Keep yep. it playful. Wait, but Will, are you rocking with UK? Did you ever listen to? Were you into like Sarah Records at all? Have you listened to them, like their discography? Dude, a uh, little bit, but Olivia, who plays guitar, was like. Dude. We went over there. She was like, I want to go do some Sarah Records stuff. Can we go Okay, there I didn't HQ? know that Olivia was Touch Girl Apple Blossom. And yeah. you played it on that live stream. And I've been listening to the fuck out of them. And then I saw her post on Instagram. And I was like, oh my fucking God. Dude, I've been T- rock. They got Sarah Records swag. That's T-Gab right there. Olivia that's so is sick. T-Gab. She's oh awesome. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of, of the band. And uh, more stuff on the way this year. 
I can't wait to listen to some more. That new band Wishy's kind of got that swag too. Sorry, sorry. By the way, me too. (laughs) I just have been like rocking. Like I remember, literally, I remember I was in like middle school, bro. It was like seventh grade, and I turned on like I can't remember some music, and I was just like, no way, it's fucking. (laughs) I like went back in time, and I was like, oh my god. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's not just Eric. It's not just Eric. We we all love music, man, and yeah. Started with like yeah, like this is fucking awesome. That oh. that is what Jack was listening to, no question. Oh, I wasn't. I mean, I was, I was make making my own music videos and shit for Macklemore when his shit was coming out. Wings, <laughs> I wanna fly. Can you remember that? He was the first person to introduce me to sneakers. What a guy. Well, I mean, and then the music videos continued. I like this thing we did. Like I didn't know what it was gonna turn into. Like will. Do you know that instead of going to college, I directed rap videos in Virginia? I wasn't sure if you were serious, but I, I think I saw some about it. All right, I'm fucking serious. Okay. So just and we have to in mention case you the, were wondering, we have to mention the fucking the music video you guys directed, which I mean, I was I wasn't you didn't fly me out for that, but like I really <laughs> enjoyed watching it when it came out on YouTube, just kind of watching from afar. Yeah. But the, what was it like to work with? Eric and Jack as directors, <laughs> as as sort Producers, of artistic directors. Yeah. What was that like to be on set? Because I've heard that they can be quite aggressive and violent and sort of uneasy to be around. But I, I, I just don't. I just wanted to know from your perspective, what was it like to be in that video and part of that process. Uh, it was it was a nightmare, but it's one I didn't want to wake up from. It was, um, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. We, uh, it, was, it was really, it was great. I mean, we were just, all, everyone in the band was, is a fan of all y'all, and uh, I really didn't think it was even going to happen. I was just like, I, I think I slowly like worked my way into like Eric's social world a little bit, kind of like trying to like, dude, would you ever want to do a music video? And he was like, actually, yeah. But I still didn't think it was going to happen. And then, uh, I started throwing the third man money at, at you guys, and uh, yeah, once like, the once the money showed up, sheesh, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. White <laughs> got involved. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah a little bit behind the process. Mr. I mean, you White. can't um, you can't make pizza without a hot oven, right? It needs That's to be right. hot. It needs to be fired. Needs some people got to get burned. Yep. And oh, so I'm, we basically, yeah, we rented this apartment out in New Jersey, and we had y'all just play the song for hours and hours and hours, and you were like, "Stop, man! I got my fucking fingers are bleeding, shredding down the fucking guitar. Like people mm-hmm. are quitting mm-hmm. the band live in real time, and yeah. we just push and push and push, and I feel like it paid off. I mean, it's a cultural phenomenon now at this point. So literally, it really. But that moment when we're singing with you at the end of the video, I mean, if anybody's listening to this that's seen the video, there's a point where we're Jack and I are singing along with will into the mic and that is the hardest i've i've broken <laughs> like we had to redo that take so many yeah. times because I, I was <laughs> dude i want to see so the cutting room singing floor. so earnestly is kevin quietly our boy kevin who shot and edited it shout out to shout kevin out. Kev, the best yeah he's like goat. your neighbor by a few blocks i believe yeah um kevin goat he uh he he was dying and every time i called him in the editing he was just like laughing his ass off because those those takes are great give it up for kevin give it up and you're working with kevin on some aren't you jack i am let's just say i don't want to say anything but if you've heard of something called the video magazine say no more say no more oh say no i didn't more. hear about oh, this oh say no, more. say no more say no more i want i want to know what's going on if you can but if you can't this is all good oh uh, all, right, all right all right all right basically plug it, jack jack right, plug, plug it now plug this, you need to start plug plugging so, now i right. told you so back in the day uh uh, I had a series on YouTube called the I Love Comedy Video Magazine, where it was basically almost like a LEG style character driven sketch experience. Um, but back then, when I made it, it sucked. So, what I'm doing is remounting this series. I've taken some years off in the hyperbolic chamber or whatever it's called, Dragon Ball Z style. I've gotten really strong. Now I'm coming back out basically to demolish Frieza. Uh, in a sense, and, and and so December 9th, I'm going to be doing a live version of that show as well, taping some segments for to then go into the final product. Um, do you have like a sound effect that you could play to like cap? Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I was, no, I heard the cryogenic freezing. I was going Doctor Evil. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get something better here. We would have liked to have right, let me say the like sentence an anime call. one. Or, you know. There we go. Oh, oh we got shit. Will Anderson from Online TNT. I'll come back in. Uh, Why does it feel so right? To- <laughs> wow. That's what it sounds like. It when sounds it used to be so much better yeah. on TV. But wait, how does Kevin fix into this? Oh, we're going to be shooting together. Oh, awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's going to be amazing. And when is it? December... Uh, nine. Yeah, Union Hall. Union Hall. Uh, Union Hall. And this hasn't even been mentioned yet publicly. This so is, this that's the day I get back from this West Coast tour. So I'd love, oh dude. shit, I'd love to Where be included on there? the guest list if, if there's room. Please, but, you'll no have worries. to come. You're you're there, man. Um, you'll have to come. We're going to the West Coast with this band called Quicksand. Mm. Oh hell yeah! Dangerous. Are you guys playing Numos in Seattle? Ah, uh, I actually I never thought I would say this, but I can't remember where we're playing. Uh, oh, snap. we'll cut this out. We'll cut this I saw out. the yeah. tour list and I'm like, that's fucking a lot of cities. There's a lot Good more God. more announcements on the way. No way. I'm at, yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Non stop so touring. If you live in a city, watch your back, man. Dude, it's the pitchfork coming. effect, dude. It's, Are you is, falling in love with touring? Cool. I mean, you've toured for years. Yeah, it's, if anything, I'm. It's just. I can't even answer that, really. It's, it's tiring. It's just what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. It's a necessary evil. Yeah. What it's, are we doing to artists in America right now? Because back in the day, I feel like like with the, the the American musician, what are we doing to the American musician? You know what I'm saying? Mm, I feel yeah. like this is just it's we are we are grinding the American musician down to a pulp. I was about to say grinding is every, down. Yeah. Pulp you got to do a 300 a date tour. You're touring every day of the year to make. Come on now, right? The, you know what it should be. Art musicians in America should be able to do three cities a year and make fucking 700k, four mil, four mil to four million dollars, and then they should be in the fucking studio for the rest of the year creating some heaters. All right, giggity. I mean, That's we're right. <laughs> we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. But um, they're grinding us into the dust. They want to grind us into the dust. And, and one thing I've noticed is that uh, pretty much every ass, almost every aspect of like being a, I'll say we're kind of in the semi-pro world now. We were in sure, the DIY sure. world, which I expected to do everything myself. But even now, as we're moving up, it's like every like a lot of the interviews or like press things we do. It's kind of like they're just. A lot of people are just copying and pasting our press release that we had to write. And it's like, aren't you guys the, the journalists? Like, you do that part. And it's like... <sighs> oh, hell nah. Uh, oh, that we brings me to like, a great question, yeah. We got to make our poster, and we're just going to use the poster you make. Like, venues aren't making posters anymore. It's like every job right. has just been put on to the musician, which I like I'm doing. I'm tired of being, Unreal. I'm tired of this hearing is, this. There is such a uh, same thing going on in comedy. Yeah. Where it feels like the festivals and the tv shows these things used to what used to be things that would help the artist are now things that the artist who's kind of independently making a name and making a uh, some money that we're kind of reverse helping all these institutions that used to be the other way man exactly yeah such as so to speak yeah how are we going to stand up it's going to be a bloody road did somebody say revolution <laughs> Again, Eric, you will never be a part of the band ever. <laughs> just stop. You don't even oh, have you your voice is like. Me off, you little pig is, son is, bitch. Oh, who is <laughs> that? that? Who is that? The neighbor? Yeah, that's uh, Herbert. Chris. Herbert, Herbert Monkey. Yeah. There's a lot of family guy on this on the soundboard. I'm not gonna lie. You are Man. a family guy. I bet. I, I remember like doing be. that impression when I was like 14. Yeah. Chris. Let's hear it, Eric. <laughs> are you familiar with uh, Karen Dalston? Uh, the or, the singer? Yeah. Yes. Rest in peace. Well, Herbert, you're never going to hear her songs the same anymore. Hear that voice? Sounds like Herbert is... Think oh, she Karen has the song. saddest fucking songs, too. Like, Get your fat ass back here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Karen, dude. But, well, because she had, like, a, a gap tooth. I think that was what was causing it. Totally. I, did, I actually saw her doc a couple years ago. Um, there's a documentary about her. Pretty sad story. It, it was sad as all fuck. Yeah, God she's amazing. Damn it. She's amazing. She died what, what, from a what's one of her songs? Um, what is it called? Uh, something on my mind. Oh my Georgia god, that on one is mind. a. It's yeah, a, it's, a, it's a stunner for sure. Chills. Mm-hmm. Are you leaving? Are you leaving for the country? That yeah, does okay. sound like fucking. Dude, Herbert. that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> oh, jackpot! <laughs> Jack Bensinger. 
Um, <laughs> I wait. So, Will, question, bro. So now, now you're popping off in a way that is disturbing everybody. Not, <laughs> not what I meant to say, <laughs> but you're popping off in a crazy way. Are the celebrity DMs starting to flood your inbox? Um, well, you saw maybe you saw one the other day. I don't know. Let's we see. Did, maybe. We did. Who? It wasn't a DM, but it was a mention, which I had no choice. Oh but to wait, post. fucking jog my Should memory. Um, let me give you a hint. Oh, okay. Uh, the second most popular song of the 20th century. Um, the second, second most, most popular, popular song of the Is 20th it Diplo? century. Nope. The 20th <laughs> century. <laughs> Marshmallow. <laughs> Think older. Think. Uh, it's got to be the Beatles. Oh shit! Second most popular song. Okay, then so it'll be Aerosmith. Tupac, Think, is it? Uh, what, I would stay in the late nineties. There was a, a Latin pop explosion. You might Ricky Martin? Ricky Martin. No, no, close, close. Ricky Martin. Oh, oh fucking Ricky Martin. Uh, Richard Martin. Think Antonio bigger. Banderas. Lou Vega. <laughs> Lou Vega. <laughs> Maybe a <laughs> certain famous guitar player. What's the Santana. first letter? Jimmy fucking Hendrix. Santana. Oh, Santana. But, San- you got the Santana shout out? No, better. Okay. Worse. Worse. Matchbox Twenty. There you go. Wow. Are you kidding my Rob ass? Rob Thomas posted, I don't know, Rob, I have no idea. He just posted Rob, like, a song. Just like the Rob ocean. Thomas. Yeah, big that ass. That was my oh, best friend my. David's mom's favorite fucking band on the planet, Matchbox 20. Shout out to David's fucking Susie mom. Lowry. Yeah. I texted my mom like saying, like, hey, do you remember the song Smooth by Santana? And she was like, I'm sorry, but I don't. What yeah. the? It's just like the ocean under the moon. Yeah. Nate, I can dude, sing that whole fucking, fucking stop song. It. You're not getting on the band either. <laughs> stop trying to fucking leapfrog me. Wow, you know, dude. <laughs> Nate actually might. I know. I, I think that Nate actually might. Uh, you band. rat. We're You're all right. welcome. And, uh, Man, so a, when are we gonna? It's a broken social we'll, scene. When are we gonna fucking get a skit on the album? You know what I'm saying? Like on rap oh, albums, yeah. there's skits. skits. Can we get a hotline TNT? The next EP or the next LP, we need four to seven skits that are in mm-hmm. between records. And it's going to help your filthy, stream numbers. Filthy and skits. Shit. Filthy, yep. disgusting fucking skits. Yeah. Like the, the well, mattress dude. fucking creaking. <laughs> yeah. And they just fucking saying back some back vile words. To um, <laughs> the pre 9 11, pre satellite, new metal era. I mean, I don't know if you guys are you guys biscuit fans at all. I've been looking, watching their shit recent. Like, have you seen okay. the new concerts with what's the guitarist name? Wes Borland. Wes, he's fucking sick with it. He, he's the reason he I play like guitar. I'm not really? even exaggerating. He's the reason I play guitar. He's got really? so much swag. Well, I think there's it's yeah. it's hard in in 2023. We're never gonna have another Wes Borland. They're not gonna let us. Why, now why, why is that? They can't. We can't even have another Will Anderson. Like they're trying to oh, shut yeah. me down. You know. Right. Really, but um, they're trying to kill you. They're trying to kill us. <laughs> and Jesus but when I Christ, saw Wes man. as a kid, you know, I looked on the TV screen and I was yeah. like, "That's me." That's, wow, I, I've never seen myself before. That's wow. me. Wow, Wes. Borland. Let me Google image this guy. Yeah. Wes Borland. He Wes wears Borland. crazy. He's got crazy fits. That's why I started dyeing my hair leopard print, like blue, wow. all that stuff. Paint oh, the fingernails, snap. everything. He's in a mask. I can't be looking at the right guy. That's him. That's him. He, he looks so beautiful yeah well and he's traditionally hot too i'll just say that now west um, oh he looks like a yeah uncanny can we do a screen share i don't know if this or you got anything yeah, yeah. Up. oh i guess if you do a screen share it never goes back to the regular oh okay never mind. video is that right jack remember that uh i don't i think no it, i think it goes back oh it does it let's, let's, let's fucking yeah. share it yeah let's but see. um what i was gonna say though is um if you go back and like get through the whole album of like a Limbiscuit CD, which I do on a monthly basis, um, that usually tucked at the end, there's like a few bonus tracks, and there's like there's a Ben Stiller skit on one of them. No, oh like, there you go, is, Ben Stiller's in the, that music video, isn't he? I think he is. Are you serious? But there's precedent for this. We want to work on this, like for the next album. Oh, fuck. get us a skit, man. Get I us. Gotta, I gotta talk to the powers that be, but we're gonna hop in the studio. Like, <laughs> oh, we, we, are the, the we are the powers that be. We are the powers that we are. The there are no the gatekeepers anymore, the power man. Turn the power to the podcast. <laughs> are you guys podcast immediately is. working on the next album? Will you got songs in the can? I got, I got like six skeletons. I'm, I'm working Snap. on. Snap! So you I'm just don't closet. stop. Why do I get the feeling that you just don't stop? Dude, life is too short for anything but a full burn. Man. It's just like wow. That's not my quote. It's not my quote. I've, I've been no, using it as a little mantra. 
but whose um, quote is it dude will um, i've been learning the new um the christmas uh song charlie brown ding oh, yeah. ding, ding 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 on piano schultz man i don't know who wrote that wait vince garaldi vince yes he played piano like no one else but charlie is a uh charlie brown is a minnesota boy like me and uh, oh is it set in minnesota schultz is from minnesota and he's kind of an institution in the twin cities god rest him yeah and so is prince so is prince right and so is um the vikings the vikings have you heard of have you heard of prince's recording schedule or you know how he has that whole fucking he has a vault you heard of this I, I don't know. I've, I've been to his estate. Um, he has a vault full of, like, I think thousands upon thousands of, like, unreleased Prince records. And he would be in the... He had, like, the work ethic of, like, the most psychopathic work ethic of any artist ever. Yeah. Like, he would be, like... I think my dad told me this, that he would have musicians when they were rehearsing if they would mess up they had to like pay money like during a rehearsal that's what it takes and he was that's yeah what that's what i told olivia too <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time you got hella venmo transactions <laughs> life is sorry. too short <laughs> they're requests but never fulfilled but they're sitting there. <laughs> oh man uh, but um so yeah, yeah. Should, should we play a type of game like a Spotify game? Sure. Here, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say some bands. This is to test your knowledge, bro. All right. Okay. Me. So let, I'm gonna say some bands. You say if you heard of them. Yeah. All right, and it's gonna start really easy. Jimmy World. Dude, I could. Can I tell a quick anecdote about this? Please. Oh my God. Exactly. This is why we do okay. it. Please. So speaking of Instagram mentions. Oh, uh, this is like no. a, this is like a year ago before Hotline Stop. was this, you know a speck in anyone's like corner of anyone's eye. But um, first of all, let me wind the clocks back. Okay. I'm in seventh grade. It's 2001. Uh huh. Right. Space Odyssey. Back. Yeah. Snap. 2001. I played my first ever live music performance, besides maybe a piano recital. First time playing a guitar in front of people this is at the seventh grade talent show my band's called Grandpa's Pirate Ship. Hmm. And uh, we covered The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. You guys obviously know that song. Of course. Yeah, yeah. of course. That was the first time I ever played in front of an audience. Were you so nervous? I was pretty nervous, but like I was pretty excited too. Oh, and so you had well. swag. You had I, childhood swag. From from birth, I was... It's been amplified since then, but... Of course. You gotta start somewhere. Wow. And it was already in there. Um, so that was the first time I ever played live. Now, back to 2022. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, Jim from Jimmy Eat World Jimmy. posts a song from our last album called Stampede. And uh, that was kind of the first celeb mention. Wow. Ever. Were wow. you floored? Did you was, send him a fucking essay? Dude. Oh, I definitely replied. I don't think he saw it or anything like that. But <laughs> Well, now he's going to be fucking eating oh. his... But dude, he was, he was ahead of world. everyone. He's tapped in. <laughs> He's is he with us still? I believe Jim is still Jimmy? with us. Oh, thank yeah. God. Okay. Somebody's not with us. Maybe it's one of the guys from uh, Yellow Card. Smash Mouth. That could be. He just oh, passed. Yeah, Steve. Oh, he Steve. definitely just went. Yep. So I have yeah. a Smash Mouth drop on here. Thought I did it one time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. <laughs> oh, Lou. There was rumors about him dying as well, but I think he's still wait. With us. They thought he got again. murdered. I think the rumor is that he committed suicide. Who did? Lou that Vega? Vega, yeah. Vega. Are you serious? Is he dead? I think he's alive. Oh, okay. But there's a rumor that he killed himself? That was, a, like a, I feel like, a playground rumor for a while. Like, free Damn. internet kind of thing. Oh. Will, anyway. have you seen this video of, um, what is it, Mariachi? It's like a Mexican band. They're playing in Mexico in the 90s. Do you guys remember this video? And they're yeah. playing their hearts out, and then someone hands the the lead musician of the mariachi band a fucking note, and the note says it's from the cartel, and it says, "If you play another song, you are dead." Mm-hmm. And you see him read the note, puts out it loud? in his pocket, oh. and then he plays his fucking heart out, crushes the show, and the next day he's <laughs> shot and killed. Damn, dude, that's amazing. <laughs> Would you do that? Was it related? Would you do that if the cartel oh. was coming for you? I'll be playing until my last breath. That's it. Like, so okay, that may, that should be your breath. real one. That's the that was a test, dude. 
Maybe that's what that Creed song is about. Is, what else am I going to do? There's nothing else I want to be you doing. Got, the show yeah. must go on is actually... Yeah. That's what well, I think they, we should all get tattooed on our chests. We have no choice. We have to keep going. Mm-hmm. The people need us. Yeah, well, People need entertainment post- and art more than ever. More than you agree? ever. Would you guys agree? I would not. Of course I agree. It's not, you don't know how to ask me that. I would not <laughs> disagree with you. No. Man. Now, is that real... Because what's the problem? Were, were they neighbors with the cartel and they wanted them to keep it down? Or I'm going to have to do some research on this. It, I'll do a little homework why? and then I'll come back with some facts next episode. Okay. All right. Because, yeah, yeah I just found, I feel like I've heard some holes in that story. <laughs> nice cough in the background. Oh, dude, that's, that's Matt. He's just, I told him not to come back until two, but. Yeah, dude, how I'm dare you? I'm, I'm messing with him. He's, he's all good. All right, photo bomb. Here he comes. Please oh, are you that. decent? No. I'm blocking you from the camera. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm wearing a towel. No, we want right. that. <laughs> Straight into the yeah. bedroom. Uh, wait, this is an X-rated That's, podcast, yeah, by the this way. Is, we have been going to NC-17. Mm. Is this going to be a bonus yeah. app, or is this going to be the real? This is real, dude. This is okay. going out oh, to real, the man. public. Millions of right people, now. dude. I are saw, you ready like, to be here by 3,000? I was looking through the archives. I was like, they're probably going to put me behind the paywall. I know they're going to put me behind the paywall. No, hell no, dude. We, and to and our friends that we did to. put behind the paywall, that was uh, punishment for how they treated us like, in the past. <laughs> it's like the Austin Powers uh, thing where I'm like at the mic right where Matt's towel is sticking out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's... Ah, man. And Will, are you ready for the Joy Tactics bump for the I've... next? You you remember how you felt, right, when that 8.5 <laughs> dropped on... You remember that yeah. feeling, right? Well, double that times yeah. fucking a billion because <laughs> right. this shit is about to take off in a way. I just want to get you prepared and ready because like once once this is about to drop on Monday, this is going to I mean, there's going to be a before and after, a chapter yeah. of your life. You can kind this of trace your it September back to 11. this moment. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's going to be like yeah, like 8.4. Mhm. Rob Thomas. Yeah. Tactics. Jo- oh, yeah. Way higher. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be, gonna it's gonna be gonna this way. It's I'm just going to tell you now high. the attention will be disturbing. <laughs> It'll yeah. make you unsettled. The amount of. Oh, and don't go out in either. public anymore. Not in New York City, by oh, the way, right. unless you have a taser or something. Like I had or? to stop that a while ago just for personal uh, reasons as well. But, uh, yeah. and, and you the like messages. models, right? <laughs> well, let's yeah, just say right. chill, chill, See, chill. I don't know time yeah. for a relationship right now, dude. It's very no, dope, dude. these these uh, no, people uh, don't even want relationships. <laughs> they just want to hook up. That's how much they <laughs> yeah. they Girls understand. We have so much like on our plate. Boys, remember? Uh, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about Avenged Sevenfold? Uh, right. Avenged Sevenfold. I don't think I've ever listened to them. I remember them, but. You've never heard one Event Sevenfold song. You know that you're talking to the three biggest Event Sevenfold fans in the world. Did not that country. That country. <laughs> that what shit the, is. Everyone's talking shit about old country, new. What is it? Oh, is like Lil Nas like, X? No. Panini? Four old words. Country, new. Black country, new road. So it's, Matt, have you heard is of this that? Is a song? Never heard of it. Old is country? New, I don't know. Is it a For, liquor? Forget it. Here, let me Will, play I got a question. Here. Yeah. You remember the Collision album with Linkin Park and Jay-Z? Of course. Who would be your Jay-Z that you would love to do a collab mm-hmm. album with? Where you Different remix genre. their songs and they genre and they kind of flip it back and remix Hotline TNT songs? That's a, that's a good question. So I, I'm kind of trying to place it historically about where Linkin Park was and where Jay-Z was at the time. Mm. Cause I don't, well, Jay-Z yeah. was kind of like... He wasn't tip-top yet, I don't think. Or was he? Jay Z. I wanted to say he was like on his way, like off the, like he had hit a peak. I feel like. Yeah. And then he was. Yeah. He had like been high. And then. Oh, was he? Okay. He was coming back. And Lincoln problems. Park was like, like yeah. they were like mm-hmm. skyrocketing. Kind of like you on. guys will be after this drops. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. So, we kind of want to get like a rapper who's maybe lost a step and the like game. needs a little boost. The game. The game. <laughs> the game. Dude, I love the game. <laughs> <laughs> I do that would too, be man. So the game sick. Hotline TNT. X the game. That that would, like are you kidding me? That I would. I didn't that? mean to answer for you. I did. I just knew. I had to say it because I knew. I knew I was sitting on a fucking diamond. <laughs> yeah. well, well, let's hear it. Let's. Well, yeah. Um, well, it's funny. You know, we have we got this new bass player coming in this week, and uh, he is from the. He's not. He's from Oxford, Mississippi, and mm. he went to high school with. The guys from Ray Schremmerd. Oh, you know, oh! I think that could be. I don't know. I don't know. That would be well, fucking. 
that did they, would did, be they did that song sick. black black beetle black beetles yeah oh yes. and this guy halen the, the bass player said he actually gave sway lee a ride home from school occasionally you're joking that, that could be a good oh we could God. actually make that i'm about happen. to cry right now like ray shrimp don't do that. it seems like a natural fit to me in a weird way Gucci Man featuring Gucci Mane. Yeah, maybe Gucci a post Mane. with the uh, Spider Man, Spider Verse. That's not connection. a bad one right there. Wow, let's Man. make that happen. All right. Let's make that you happen. You should. You should use AI to bring back Pop Smoke's voice and just do a fucking <laughs> full Pop Smoke. Yeah. I'm sure there's already yeah, some kind uh, of sound library that's got uh, all that. Oh, there's no the question. King of New York. And you, are you concerned about AI, or you're comfortable with what this is going to do the, to the industry? I'm not comfortable with it. Me neither, man. With it. But that's I, another test. <laughs> but if we don't use these tools, someone is. So we gotta like let's use them. them. Yeah, fund them. Um, we did have uh, Patrick and um, SpongeBob hop down a track with us recently. Really? They did an AI cover of uh, one of our actually our song. Did I send this to you? No kidding. Oh, uh, I thought you that. changed. Yeah. Oh you, shit! You didn't see this? Let me let me pull. I didn't up see quick. this. Uh, yeah, let's hear that. I don't know if you'll it. be able to hear it over the mic. Know. I'm kind of loving the yeah, like Donald it. Trump singing, Joe Biden rapping, like that's those kind of AI yeah. things. Like that's what it should be used for. That's fun. That's sick. <laughs> and Patrick is uh, the backing. Oh, oh snap! Mm -hmm. Oh, Patrick <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Yeah. So they. We, we didn't even know they were doing it. They just like, it just showed up. Speaking of DMs and stuff, like they just yeah. Patrick and Sponge just. Kinda we kind of do live in an amazing oh. time where we can well, see that. You know what I'm saying? It's true. I do know what because we used to always fantasize about that growing up. Like, what? What if? Yeah, whatever. Uh, Jet was singing Christina Aguilera. Yeah, or something. I think it's the Alan Strokes did like a mashup with Christina. To yeah. me, like. Yeah, it's like the natural progression of like, when I was that age, it was like, I'm gonna go to the MTV website and request this celebrity death match. Like yeah, type yeah. in a form. Like, yeah. Is there any way we can see these two interact? Please. Somehow? Well, there's somebody on our Reddit who's posted like fully Joy Tactics in French, where they are somehow making us speak French. Yeah. And then I think there's like a Chinese one or something. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn. That's it's a, very interesting, and it, and it, and it does make me think: Should we shy away? I don't know because w won't that just make us fade into the halls of history? I think it's we gonna, need to get ahead of it. It's going to be really hard to get that genie back in the lamp at this point. Have you thought yeah. about making a Chinese record that goes and dominates the massive Chinese market for I the hunger for rock and roll over there? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're hungry because it's like we for this kind of music. I mean, yeah, how, how do you not? react to something that's this different you know mm -hmm. like this yeah mm -hmm. especially yeah. in that country yeah especially in the west because the west is like i don't know that how many people even live there it's really like the middle of america like the west of china and all those mountains out by kyrgyzstan <laughs> i feel like that's where they need hotline tnt to really come yeah. in especially with it's just like it's like a, almost like a desert you guys need to be playing in the steps with fucking horses and eagles right like all around you you got the eagle landing right here like Genghis would have had <laughs> we do have um wow. yeah my, my manager's gonna kill me but uh I will reveal uh that we are talking to some markets in in the east <laughs> Holy are you serious yes. well you know that's the biggest concentration of rockabillies are in Japan <laughs> uh, rockabilly was, culture dude, is popping out there right now I was just watching like one of those rockabilly Japanese dudes that appears yeah. on my TikTok feed all the time and I'm like, Can I just oh, live man. like that? Yeah. Can I have a hair like that and mm -hmm. just wear fucking denim jeans like that and mm. dance like that and that just be my whole identity? Why can't that be like why can't that be my life? Did you I mean, ever go through a rockabilly phase, Will? I didn't. I didn't. Matt's going through one right now. I think. Matt. But um <laughs> He's rockabilly I, I never did. Um <laughs> I uh, it's still coming though for me. Nice, yeah. Um, a few years down the pipe, probably. Um, what was I gonna say? Some, oh yeah, cause um, no, I didn't say Japan by the way. I said East. East. That uh, could be. That uh, could be Spain. So that, that could, could be, be the Philippines. Baltimore. But <laughs> uh, I did try to go to Japan earlier this year, and uh, some there was 
this is when we were starting to talk a little bit and you know something was bubbling up i had my book my flight booked to japan but like oh. some weeks before we got like three or four calls from the south by southwest festival s like, x s w this label Ocean wants Wells. you to come down this agency wants you to come down it's like snap oh, shit maybe i postpone the trip for a bit and we so weren't even signed japan yet. I didn't say we were going to Japan, but oh right, right, right. If we are, yes, it's going to be end of next year, I think, like that. Oh, oh can we come? God. Can we be fucking? We're going to come. We as, we'll be roadies. Yeah, we'll do a live podcast we'll do to open up. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> we'll just carry <laughs> shit too. We'll do. <laughs> fucking oh. <laughs> I, mean, I was Damn, like, that scared the, the fuck out of me when that world. happened. I was so unsettled by that incident. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. No, I, got, I loved it. I thought it was fake that for was, sure. I got a DM right after it happened. It was, G, it, was, I thought it, was it was green screen. I thought, I thought it was AI, but I thought it was AI too. Yeah. AI. Some, Holy well, shit. speaking of Will Smith, Will Smith is one of the most famous people to ever live on the planet. And you see what fame kind of does to a person mm -hmm. when you get up to that level. Will, I feel like you're on your way up to be sort of one of these musicians that is a legendary status. And we all know what happens to these musicians. They lose their fucking mind. Be they careful, go crazy. Bro. They fucking go, they, they, they lose themselves. So what are you doing to, to protect yourself from that? Can you protect yourself from that? Or mm -hmm. do you just have to let the fame kind of wash over you and become that beast, that monster? <laughs> yeah, what am, I, what am I doing to prevent it? Absolutely nothing. I'm welcoming wow. it in. I think that's the key. Good. To that's that's it. good. Swallow yeah. it whole and just kind of like, just cruise, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do. You're so. making a beast out of yourself. Yep. It's it was always there. As in, it was always there. Like you know, seventh grade. Yeah. I'm doing the Jimmy Eat World song. It's like, <laughs> yeah. The seventh graders saw what was coming. But. Which musician you would wanna... you smack if they were disrespecting your wife at the Grammys? <laughs> mm. Well, no, I, mean, I was a comedian, so we got to think. That's right. They weren't even the same fool. Comedian, mm -hmm. who's my analog in the in the comedy world? Right, David um, Cross. Would you smack the fuck out of David Cross if he was going off on your David Cross. He deserves it. I think. I'm trying to think of who else. Mikey Day, maybe. Oh, wow! Mikey I could see that. Day. Oh, he would he die if you fucking smacked him, dude. Yeah. That would be a death. You know, how they were like, you could have killed Chris Rock. Like, if you, if, <laughs> if, if if Mikey Day hit that same Will Smith slap, he'd be fucking. He'd be I'll tell out. you what, SNL wouldn't have the best straight man on the planet right now. No, I don't think They'd so. They'd have a dead one. I don't think so. Uh huh. Well, realistically, I think that comedian would be Eric, because they kind of like Chris. And Don't even. Rock I would never Smith, break that other. loyalty. You need to hear no. this. You need to hear <laughs> I would this. never. Eric wouldn't do that. It, no, I'm saying you're gonna smack. <laughs> I wouldn't cross the physical never threshold never, with Eric either. Just so you know. I just think. I, I, Thank I, you. I, I, I encourage you to consider this reality and prepare yourself for it, because I think Chris Rock and Will Smith probably felt this exact same way back in the '90s, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what Joy Tactics is all about. <laughs> Diving deeper into stuff like this. Yeah. Wow. So what we're saying is fame does cor I, I, Listen, I do not want to become corrupted. That's the last thing I want, but I know it's coming for, for me. It's coming for all of us. It's just like a matter of like who God can hold out yeah. the longest. We know. have no choice. Four. Why do we? Why is it so fun to have four rising stars on the same in the same as Zoom? Room? <laughs> because it's so. Where are we going? Oh. Heath, Jack we miss you, Heath. We do miss Heath. We do miss yeah. Him. yeah, that was Shout a fucking devastating people, loss. He played the Joker. Will, we like to end every single one of our podcasts with what gave us joy that week. I'm sure you're being fucking inundated with joy left and right. It's Can you much. pick out one thing in the last week or month that has filled your ass with joy? I should have prepared for this. because I know. Why don't we go first and, and then the we'll meeting. get to you and you can yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nate, what gave um, you joy? Sorry, my audio like cut out. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, this is a smooth segment every time. So what gave me joy mm -hmm. is the monthly show, I Don't Give a Fuckology. It's a show that Eric Rahill and myself host in Brooklyn. And last night I did something amazing, something I have never done on stage before, which is that I broke. And I broke so hard that I actually had to leave the stage. And 
it was amazing. The house was like just they couldn't believe what they were witnessing. It was like seeing like Bob Dylan play the flute. It was like this is a once in a lifetime thing. Um, it did look like a mental break for a second. I was watching from the audience. That's all right. <laughs> I did think I did think this is a genuine laughing fit. Yeah. Um, and it had no justification. I think maybe I had eaten at uh, this restaurant beforehand and I wasn't feeling too good. But that gave me joy, man, was was uh, kind of having a mental breakdown on stage, yeah. Okay. I'll give mine. Congratulations, by the way, on the show last night. Oh, let me get a little uh, sound effect here. Um. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Joy Tactics. What's been going on with me? Well, I'm listening to a new audio book while I'm walking my dog and doing the dishes. And it's called The Midnight Library. And it's kind of a mom's um, book club type book. And it's read by Carrie Mulligan. Remember her? And it's about a woman who's at her wit's end and takes too many pills and goes to sleep. You know what that means. She tried to end her life. And she ends up in something called The Midnight Library. And what the Midnight Library is, is every there's millions of books, and every book contains the life that you would have if you made just one different choice. So some choices are small, the lives are similar, some choices are big. And um, basically it's just making me think hell about choices in my life, and um, it's an amazing experience. And so I want to give it up to audible.com for putting that in my, in my presence. Thank you, everybody. Wow. Might have to and just it. a reminder, audio books are not don't count as <laughs> books that you've read. That's a throwback. We we kinda oh, argued that. Yeah, what do you think about that, Will? That. I also yeah, I don't I agree. I can't do audio books. I've tried and I just kinda like fall asleep at the wheel every time. When I'm, yeah. I can't you they definitely lines. don't count as like a book. Like if somebody's like, How many as books have you read this year? And they say eight and then you're like, Okay, they're and then they're like, they're all audio books. You'd be like, so no. you didn't read a book. So, but right? what if someone says, I read physically with my eyeballs three books and I listened to ten books? You, you got a disclaimer say that, yeah. yeah. So that's okay. Yeah, to say I read yeah. three books. You can't even mention the audio book <laughs> at all. It's not. It's a separate thing. May I say I just listened to my first ever audio book. It took about two and a half hours. David Lynch finding the big fish, or whatever it's called, catching it. Oh, that's a great one. And may I say, I'd never listened to an audio book before, and after listening to it, that is not reading. I'm sorry, no. that's my final Did he do it? Did David Lynch do the he audio? Did. Oh, he, he has did. a but he has a buttery smooth sort it's of listening. draw. He's enjoyable. Let me Nate, get, Nate, Nate, what gave wait, you joy, dude? Wait, let me give Erica a little drop here. Oh, please. please Gotta please, find a good you. one here. Please. That's what I do! <laughs> the goat. The presidential goat. <laughs> yeah. Oh. After he got a three-pointer. Incredible. Shit. Damn. Uh, so what gave me joy was you guys know I make a lot of salads and when I'm making my salads, I'm just putting mainly veg- vegetables in there or protein. Okay? Classic. And sometimes I feel like, man, I'm running out of vegetables that I like in my salad and I just want to mix it up with different dressings and I've been putting fruit in the salad with balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> And I'm telling you, this has just opened up a whole new chapter of yeah. the salad world. You put some strawberries in there, some apples, some blueberries, mixed with the balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, this is shit. like a mom in 1996 changing her life <laughs> after some postpartum depression. <laughs> like, <this> is, <laughs> that's the joy. Congratulations, I, uh, though, man. Thank you, awesome. man. Mm. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, we got a drop. Here's yeah, now you're getting it. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, H H. Mr. Hill. Mr. Um, Hill. I uh, I'm not a big salad guy, and if I do, I usually never get dressing. I find it a little weird. But um, mm. a vinaigrette is kind of where I would go if I was going to. Do, wow. So, so. yeah. Clean. Um, Respect. Yeah, that's for my joy. I had some time to think when you guys were talking. Yeah. Um, like you said, there's been a lot of joy in my life. Mm-hmm. So instead of picking one of those, I'm going to kind of try to pass it. I got some joy from a friend when I was in London, actually, um, who revealed to me that uh, she's pregnant with a baby. And, oh. Uh, she told me the name of the baby, too, and it's uh, it's Maeve. And that made me really 
gave me a lot of joy to hear that name. That, that, why does that name get bring you so much joy? I don't know. Something about it just kind of a little tiny, like a little corner of my lips head. just peaked, peaked yeah. up a little bit. And she saw my reaction. She's uh, like, oh, think Will likes the name. And I was like, yeah, I do. Yeah. There's nothing like new life. Nothing like I love it. that name. Well, congratulations to your friend and to, wow, to Billy Wow, dude. Yeah. And welcome, pre pre preeminent welcome to May. Welcome May. Joined, has May. joined the lobby. Is March, chilling in the pregame March lobby right now. March twenty twenty four. Yeah. She'll, March she Madness. Yep. Just in time. Will, dude, thank you so much for coming on the podcast today. This was fun. This was a dude. this was an amazing experience. I think for all of us, I can speak for all of us. My pleasure. And say that. Thanks again for having me. Hotline TNT. Do you have anything to plug? Tour dates. <laughs> too many to count, dude. Check out my website. Too many to Check count. Check out the site, guys. Um, I'll put it in the chat. I know you can't see it in the podcast. When is this pod going to drop, by the way? I think Monday. All right. Yeah, if Monday. you can put like, a graphic up with the website. I don't know if you do that at all. Yeah, but, um, yeah that's For those, list, those listening, For it's us. called assnup.com. A-S-S-N-U-P dot com. Check it out. And I was on your, your Twitch earlier just kind of and i thought that you were like gaming on your pc but that was poison rhythm twitch.com or twitch.tv yeah. slash poison rhythm yeah um and fucking go stream the fuck i want every fucking person right now i don't for the next fucking three days i want you to shuffle cartwheel on spotify and just keep it going on a <laughs> laptop and mute the sound let's mm-hmm. get yeah. can we get ten thousand people right now to just boost up the streams on that bitch yeah please go 24 7 i'm talking 20 we need the youtube we need on every screen you have if you're not currently on it i need you streaming that fucking album right now let's get that we shit up to five billion streams let's get that up to fucking 50 cent style that's right if we, if, we, if people if artists see that what how crazy will's life changed and highline tnt changed after this we need this to happen to, yeah. to get to keep it to, the train rolling. Colbert, no Colbert, my DMs are open. Yeah, we want, we want Colbert. Colbert can you hit the, hit his line right Stevie now? Stevie Wonder, hit that hotline TNT right now. And Will, I just want to say this: just savor this moment right now, the before mm, being on Joy Tactics, because your life is about to change. So really, just soak up this yeah, next couple of days. What We're recording this, like. this on Thursday, yep. and I need this weekend for you to really just kind of connect <laughs> with your friends and family. Because this is about to fucking fuck up your whole life. It's about to get weird, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. Will, much love. Love. Peace. Toy tactics. Well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreoncom tactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes. And make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you loved the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening and remember, we are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.